morning, Asia. Fellow privateers, welcome to the Asia Preview, the North American wrap from your friends at Privateer FX. Kind of an equity day, a little bit of a dollar yen day. No real news out. That was earth shattering uh, economic data. Start out with the uh, the S and P. Here's the daily chart, so you can see we went up and tried to make a take out Friday's high. Friday was that big sell-off after the NFP number and you know various headlines. Closing the bottom fifth of the range, really, still above the 200-day, but it very weak price action as the day progressed. The Nasdaq, on the other hand, took out daily bar looks very similar. However, we took out Friday's high and then failed. Um, you know, market S and P and Nasdaq was up. They were up about one and a half, two percent at the highs, and then and then closed up about 0.3 percent, I think, on the day. Um, so it uh, some of this was caused by the headlines from Russia, kind of late in the day. We also had the uh, I guess the biggest headline that really sent stocks selling off, you know, right around the close was that Trump's attorney Cohen is being investigated for possible bank fraud, campaign finance violations. Um, so the FBI raided his office. Uh, and uh, it's not directly related to uh, Mueller's investigation, but there's still some shenanigans going on uh, with with Trump's lawyer, Cohen. So we got that, and we also had um, a Russian headline uh, saying uh, that Moscow has warned the U.S. that a military strike in Syria could lead to grave repercussions. Um, so those two comments late in the day sent stocks reeling. Um, let's pop over to the currencies. Take a look at dollar yen. Dollar yen was interesting today. It was, um, you know, the dollar was under bit of pressure was down about 25 basis points or so on the day but dollar yen let's look at the hourly dollar yen just kind of stayed heavy turned real heavy around uh, around when London went home and just was grinding lower even though stocks at the time were still up a percent and a half or more so there's a little bit of a disconnect here and you know what we were talking about yesterday is correlations between S and P's and the and dollar yen and the five year notes, the correlation is uh, is has increased quite a quite a bit in the past month. You wouldn't know it today because dollar yen was very heavy. Um, you know, even testing this uh, uh, got down to the two hundred hour moving average and has since bounced a little bit since the Asian close. But um, Found that a bit interesting. Uh, the other currencies, not nothing really too dramatic. Um, I'll take a look at dollar Turkey. That's making uh, it's making new all-time highs. Uh, another bullish day here. And that's a, you know, a lot of that's a serious stuff. Dollar ruble was up. Throw this in here. Massive day. Dollar ruble above the 200-day. Closed right on on Friday. And then it rallied 4% today. And that's purely on the Russian sanctions and whatnot. Um, so <clears throat> that's, kind of the, that's kind of the price action for today. We, uh, as far as economic data goes, nothing. We have Haldane speaking in the middle of the night, or my time, so London morning. Um, we do have Norwegian CPI coming out during Europe. Uh, nothing really during the Asian time zone, uh, NAB business confidence out of Australia, which can move things a bit, but there's no great tech setups. Uh, speaking of Australian dollar, you know, we're still high in the 76, 40, 50 area. So we got down there this morning, 76, 52 to low. We start taking this out. We'll become, uh, 
you know, we're still selling rallies, but if we take that area out, I think that you can see some further downside. That's about it. Good luck trading, and we will speak to you on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.